So, let's start our equipment guide. Now, it's pretty interesting, I'd say for the most part, on how equipment works. Obviously, if we go right over here and not uh, Dream World and Dolgum and stuff, right? You, you have all this stuff, and I don't know if I need to explain this to you, but obviously, just farm level 4. If you need, you know, the basic stuff, just purple gear, that's pretty much all you will need. Uh, just hit it to level 30, you know, ascend all that good stuff. Just hit them to level 30, and you should be able to honestly clear most of the game. But after that, what do you do? Just skip straight to 8. Once you hit 8, you're able to start grinding obviously these red stones these red uh, stone of promises and you get legendary gear just completely ignore gold gear this is basically used to ascend the first two levels of your legendary gear your legendary gear has certain set effects that are very very strong and i have a list of what i prefer them to be obviously this pertains to all three of them armor and accessory shares through all of them but aside from that there's also one more thing there is the trial shop of course, where you got your red stones, you now can buy some of this stuff. Now, something that's really important is that weekly there is a advanced runestone that I highly recommend that you would buy every week. It's just one. This basically guarantees a SSS once you hit 20 on your luck roll, and it's extremely important. Also, it is one of the only ways I believe you can get a 15% chance on your third line. And your third line of your equipment bar basically allows you to, you know, get a stat. Now, my tip with this is that because you only get one third line, and you can use this for it, right? Hit max luck first. So, for example, you would hit this like 20 times. Don't really care about the stat. Then at 20, try and hit this and hopefully you get something good. If you get a third line, that's good. The third line is all you care about. Note that all of them is what you care about. But the third line is the first thing you needed to care about. Because once you get a third line that you need, you lock it in. If you don't get it, do not lock it in. If you do lock it in, you cannot ever replace it ever again. So this is why the third line matters the most. First, after that, you lock it in. Then you can reroll the next two with anything. The third line cannot be changed no matter what after you lock it in. So that's basically how you want to do that part of the enchant table. Obviously, you can ask me, what do you want to, you know, build? So obviously, you know, for attack equipment, let's build like crit rate first and crit damage. Then, you know, physical magic damage increase percentage. And then, you know, attack percentage or, you know, the physical magic defense, I guess, for the last one. For defense, it's pretty obvious, you know, physical and magic damage res percentage, then HP percentage. Then physical and magic defense percentage, then just flat physical and magic defense. So generally you want obviously the damage increases and then the stat increases by percent and then the flat bonuses. Uh aside from that, oh my counter set was playing. Uh aside from that, obviously you can see right here that you can ascend this to the last level. I'm just gonna use something that isn't really good. Because it doesn't really have a stat. Obviously, you can see right here, this does have a substat. So, I'm going to use this to ascend to the very last level. And you can see right there, that is the maximum level that you can get for a gear. And honestly, if you gr grind long enough, this is really isn't much of an issue to get level 50. But yeah. Other than that, though, the biggest things to look out for in terms of gear are... Let's go to shop real quick. A few set effects. There are two that you should look out for in the weapons and stuff. As you can see here, with all these details, this is where you get your orderly type weapons. So there's a lot of legendary equipment that just don't have stats at all. These are the equipments you basically straight up ignore. Otherwise, then you have your orderly fashion type gear. And... This is one side of the spectrum, and I'll explain that later. But everything that isn't that doesn't have effect, basically just consider it fodder. Aside from that, you also have your gear over here with physical and magical defense. And this is the magical version. This is a physical version. And then you have the best ring in the game. Heal self 10% max health once every 10 seconds with an attack base right there. You can also get the health base if you want. But obviously the attack base is the best one. 
and right here this is also the best one and the magic version as well because physical defense and magic defense for actually my bad these are not good at all now that i think about it the ones you gain from i, I generally don't prefer this because honestly that subset's kind of trash but the one that you gain from grinding to get these red gemstones in the first place those mats like the armor i just upgraded it's like 15 percent defense and increase when you're debuffed that is probably the best one out of all these so hopefully you don't get armor hopefully you get all these rings and then for orderly it depends i will explain what orderly fashion does obviously you can read it right here but you can see that there are two types of equipment per unit so for guardians you have shields and you have hammers obviously hammers gives you more attack and shields give you more hp most of the time almost all the time you want to focus on attack no matter what attack on pretty much almost everyone some characters might want health more but mainly a attack so that's the second variant most of the time obviously you have your sword here and you have the axe seems like the axe is better for destroyers so let's just go for the axe and then you would obviously choose that right same thing for pretty much everything else this is yep this is more hp this is more attack the bow is definitely the best for assassins because it gives more attack all that stuff right so attack is probably the best version that you could ask for now let me see if i can actually show you guys uh the one in here otherwise we're gonna move to a different scene let's see Oh, doesn't seem like I can actually show you this. I might be able to show you it in the archives, maybe. We'll be able to see it. Um, doesn't seem like it. That is quite unfortunate. Oh, well. Well, let's move on to a different scene then. Right over here. So, besides all of this yada yada stuff, this basically explains what I just told you. This is the website that I'm going to be using for this side of the video you can see right here you have your regular drops with frenzy and you have your chest drops with orderly fashion now this this basically shows you that you have two choices obviously your, your attack version or your hp version and then your orderly or frenzy version so for guardians you can see right here that most likely final blow will be your best weapon now keep in mind this isn't a hundred percent objective it's gonna be best in slot for every character so i can't really tell you which one's like a must keep honestly if you need to just keep all the sets but personally it's mainly the attack frenzy is basically you want to use them for order type heroes where they basically use the order skills over and over and they don't really give room for order energy while uh this in fact basically means that you could also use it for healers Healers could use this in case if they're, you know, low HP. It can give you a huge boost before they actually heal. And then you have Chaos Charge users as well. Basically, in a sense where you can't even use your Chaos skills. So, why not just use your Order type abilities? Which it would be in this section. Now, the Chaos type skills, I would say, would be in an orderly fashion. Where it increases damage and healing effects of skills for every point of Order energy used. Usually, this would be in the Fever section of the game. Now, order, the orderly fashion type uh, equipment would basically mean you would want to use it on order charge heroes where they can't really use their order skills. They use this charge instead. And chaos type users where they just, they're the ones that spam their chaos type skills during fever. They will do a lot of damage during it. And then just fever users in general. So that's how you would kind of sort them out. So obviously, I personally b I believe that uh, a fallen should definitely use final blow and uh it's pretty damn good for her and then we also have our healer stuff the battle hymn is pretty good in general a lot of attack um a lot of attack in terms of uh the sets right you have the tome or the hymn uh and heim him i honestly forgot how it's pronounced but uh yeah but you can see that obviously it's the orderly fashion and there's a frenzy version i would prefer the frenzy version for this one however some characters have charge skills for orderly so you actually want to use it for this one instead for that certain character that's pretty much how generally you would want to look at it obviously you have your destroyer definitely try and go for this frenzy but honestly the sword could work too I'd, i would probably prefer frenzy though frenzy is pretty damn strong so especially for ella 
Ella would probably use this one, considering things. Like, well, hmm, actually, you could make a debate on this. Because during, during a fever, she is a fever type hero. You would basically use her three cost skill with max damage. So you honestly could run the Infernal Axe for her. Because this uses orderly fashion and healing effect is pretty decent for her as well. So maybe this would be better because she's the one that's mainly doing orderly. Like I said, it's based on team and it's based on units. So it's kind of hard to say which one is good for which one. So just use that up to your own discretion. Obviously, assassins, no matter what, honestly, I think DVA from the world is probably the best one. Highest attack, big damage, really good for Solania, etc, etc. And obviously for mages, you would probably want to use your good old frenzy. Uh, Samsara right here. Pretty good for mages, 100%. However, some mages really like orderly as well. Like uh, Saint Gagius right here. Really good, considering some mages almost always use their chaos skill. Instead, and they don't basically use their order skill at all because some other units use them. Maybe something like that. Up to your discretion again. Compellers, same thing. Some compellers have charge skills under chaos. Some of them have it on their order skill. But the biggest thing about it is honestly the fact that they heal at certain times. So frenzy is pretty good for them. Because when they need it, they'll activate during frenzy. They'll heal a shit ton and they'll do a lot of damage. Again, this could be the same thing for order. Uh, but compellers, if your compeller is the only healer on your team, I think Frenzy would be pretty damn decent. And it's up to you, honestly. Again, if they don't have a chaos skill, it's kind of iffy, you know. They're not going to heal all the time during Fever. So it's kind of like a low-key a waste, in a sense, because it's... I don't know. It's honestly up to you, all right? Honestly, both of them are pretty good. Like, during Fever, this is really good. Not during Fever, this is good when you need a clutch. It could also work during Fever too, so who knows? Either one is good. But obviously the Universal Armor is always good. These two are really good. And these ones are kind of like... They're good during Fever, but what, what would you need that for during Fever, you know? And then obviously you have your two rings right here. These are the best rings in the game. Obviously the more attack one would give you more... Uh, What was the word? It would give you more value to it, basically. These ones are okay, but these ones obviously from the chest are the best ones. But yeah, that's pretty much it for your equipment guide. Um, hopefully you kind of understood it a little bit better. Uh, but honestly, it's just up to your own discretion. It's up to your own views on how to build your character. So have fun doing that stuff. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later.